Assalamu alaikum. Um, actually, this video is just replying, just whatever I hear, my experience as hijabi and hijabi. Okay? Um, well, let me just start, tell you how I started out with, I'm 22 years old in America, and I have two sons. Okay, one is four, one is eight and a half. So, I was married when I was 16. So, this woman comes up to me and says, I'm holding my two sons, are those your brothers? I'm like, no, they're my sons. She's like, oh, well, are you married? I'm like, of course, I come to them married. She's like, aren't you a bit too young to be married? I'm just staring at her like, yeah, but ha haven't you seen these girls? They're like 14, 13, they're pregnant. And then I've been married. They don't know who the father is. So, whatever, I ignored her. And then she's my neighbor. They're new. She's been, I think it's been three months that they moved in. So, yeah. Um. Then her daughter comes out with the baby. And I'm like, oh, is that your son? Son. She's like, no, it's my grandson. I'm like, oh, so um, whose son is he? She's like, oh, my daughter. I'm like, well, how old is she? She's like, oh, she's 14. I'm like, no way. She's 14. He's telling me 16. I'm so young. I had my son <clears throat> when I was literally 18. I was 18 when I had my son. And your daughter's 14. You know, big difference. At least I waited two years to have a child. I was 16 when I got married. And I had my son when I was 18. And she's like, so she's like, yeah, but you're married. I'm like, isn't that a good thing? And I'm just supposed to be married and I'll have kids? She's like, yeah, but still. I'm like, you know, just screw it, lady. Calm down. So, yeah, that was that. I can't talk to her because I'm sleeping and it's all the clock. I wish my husband comes home at 12. It's all. Uh, while he's at work, I'm just making this video. Um, what I was, um, that's what I'm talking And I'm going to talk about 9 11. I just have to. I had a best friend. Um, she was in Muslim, and I just remember this day. I cannot forget it. It was the day I lost a best friend. The bestest friend. We were best friends like forever. So 9 11 happens. The next day, she doesn't talk to me. And I'm like, darling, I'm like, what's happening? She, She's leaving me alone. I'm like, okay, but what happened? What did I do? She's like, no, but you the B word and the terrorist. And I'm just trying to I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't know what terrorist was. I was only 11 years old. And I wasn't even into that stuff. So I, I'm like, what's that? She's like, my mom's a terrorist. I'm like, okay. But then when I found out what terrorist was, a terrorist is. I was like, I'm not a terrorist. They're trying to do things. This is not whatever that happens. But anyways, she started making fun of me, and her mother literally didn't let her talk to me. I was not allowed to talk to her. I lost a best friend. That was one exact time, 9 11. And um, many girls in my class took off their hijab, so I was picked on by everyone. I was the only hijabi in this class, and everyone would poke at me, pull my hijab. I complained. What the pr um, principal did at most was what? Detention or suspension, that's it. No actions were taken towards the parents. And even if there was a parent, like, oh, you know, what can we do with the kid? So that was that, whatever. And then came the time I was out walking um, down the street. Some guys in the car tried to spit at me. Alhamdulillah, I moved back in time. They were spitting at me. And once I was going down the street, this old man literally on my chest, put my makeup down, like literally grabbed it, but thank God my son grabbed me. He was one, he was, you know, he was just swimming around and then he grabbed me and someone pick me pick him up. So, you know, nothing happened. But many people picked on me, they still threat, say things to me, it's just so sad. But that's people. And, um, Many people somehow got the idea that I'm being oppressed by covering my face and being married and taking care of them. Well, you know what? News out that is, I go to school. I'm in a medical student. I'm graduating this semester in the fall. I'm going to be done. I'm going to, I applied to graduate school. And I'm going there. And I'm going to put a reply. Hopefully, I'm going to apply in January. And my husband being a, med I'm a medical student, and I'm a mother, 
and I'm a wife. And I'm doing this on behalf of my husband. If I was oppressed, my husband wouldn't be really, wouldn't let me go to school. He wouldn't work all day for me. He has two jobs and they're both minimum wage. He spends one job entire money on my education. And the other one is the rent and everything else. Now, he left school for me. He has his master's, he wanted to go for his PhD. But he stopped because, well, for me, basically. So, um, I'm not oppressed, people. I am not oppressed. I am Muslim and I'm proud. And wouldn't like it anywhere better. I mean, what what do you get from being this cleavage shirt? What do you get from that? I see nothing. And then when women say men are jerks, well, you're giving them something to look at, you know. So the girls need to understand, you know, that you're the one who, uh, you're the one who's forcing these guys to look at you. It's in a man's nature. So don't blame them. Blame yourself. Yeah. Going, in the, going out naked. So first things first is, what do you get from being naked? I don't understand that. That's what I need to understand. And but for those who say, oh my god, you're so young and married. Well, I'm happy. I know who my son's father is. You know, whereas I don't have to go to you anytime. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about because it's really bothering me how people are so ignorant. And before you judge and make assumptions about Islam, please, please read about it. Learn about it. Know it before you judge us. Because I'm telling you right now, it's the most peaceful, most beautiful religion I have ever heard and read. About. So that's it for today. I saw my phone and show. I will be putting up more videos. But not every day, whenever I get a chance. I'm a mother, I can't really do that every day. So, okay, inshallah, I'm like, don't take care of yourself. Keep me in your prayers. Thank you.